Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at data registers. So actually, let me zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay, so what are data registers? There's actually four 32-bit data registers and they are used for stuff like logical operations, they are used for arithmetic, you know, operations, instructions and uh, you know and some other operations as well and they can actually be used in you know a variety of different ways so we've got these eix ebx ecx and edx i'll explain later on in this video what each one of these are so these are the complete 32-bit registers so four 32-bit registers here and what you can do you can use the you know essentially half of each register to represent a 16-bit register in, instead so you just get ax bx cx and dx if you want to go even a step further you can use half of the 16-bit register as you can see right here to essentially just represent 8-bit data registers so you'll have ah al which will be the 8 bits of the eax and then al will be the other 8 bits of the eax and so forth the reason you would potentially want to do this is depending on the actual data that you are storing you might not need a 32-bit register again if you do 2 to the power of 8 you can store a value of up to 256 in there so if you're if you're storing a number and it's only, only the number 5 for example there's no point storing it in a whole 32-bit register that's just not an efficient use of you know the space available in the registers on the CPU. So that's essentially the way you can use the registers. So what about these different registers right here? So AX is essentially the main accumulator, as you can see right here. And this is mainly used for, you know, input and output. It's used for arithmetic instructions. For example, multiplication, that is an arithmetic instruction. BX, is also called the base register and this can be used essentially for you know addressing index addresses and cx is essentially known as the counter register the count register and these store the loop count you know when you are doing an iterative pro you know operation so when you're running through a loop this essentially stores the you know you know it, it stores the count almost like the index and dx the final one is known as the data register and it can also be used for input and output and it can also be used with the accumulator register to multiply and divide operations that involve large values. So if you need to have larger values than one of the first two bit registers can you you know handle, then you can use EDX and EAX as well. But that'll be some pretty large numbers. If you do two to the power of 32, it's a very large number. I think two to the power of 16 is something like 65,536 i think that's what it is 2 to the power of 32 is going to be a large number as well i think that's yeah it's about 4 million and then so if you need something larger than that you can use both of them so that's you know what data data registers are we'll be using them later on in this series and actually storing data in there if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video